Hello and welcome again to another stream. I'm the Count of Monte Fisto. And today we'll be streaming more Symphony of the Night, but we'll just be doing Richter mode, which looks pretty fun. Um, it doesn't look like it's fully fleshed out. It does not appear to have... a lot of RPG elements, so it looks like it's relatively watered down. I don't mean to talk trash on it before I played it, but that's kind of the point of the stream, is to learn about it and discover it. So first, we're going to just fuck with this a little bit. Um, mm, scaling, enter scale on. Oh, oh. I feel like I just made it worse. Or maybe I made it better. <laughs> Shit. Why why is why does it get framed like that? I I don't get it. I feel like this wasn't a problem before, and then all of a sudden it's a problem. We're just gonna figure this out. Real quick. A crop over scan, right? There we are. Hey, that looks good. Yeah, it looks perfect. Nice. All right. Well, integer, jail, <laughs> integer scale off. Set to four by three. Lesson learned. Always, always something. I, I swear to the. <laughs> There's always like a new problem with this thing. I know it's very DIY, but you know. So here you can see, after you have a cleared game, it says input Richter at the top. Uh, in order to start a new game from the beginning, right there. It's a cool little bonus, and see, how do I um? How do I do? How do I do new? New? How do I do new? Oh, okay. Richter. So, around the time of the PlayStation, they started doing all sorts of new game pluses and bonus campaigns and uh, multiple endings and all this shit, because they could. So people started to make relatively relatively shorter games, but with more replay value, which I think is a good decision overall. So this one, as you can see, kind of just starts you off right in there. Oh, okay. see that here because uh, clearly this is my first time playing this one. So you could do shit like that. So pretty much you start off extremely, extremely powerful. There are no RPG elements. And as the game progresses, you gotta play more and more perfectly only heal from save points, I believe, which can make it, uh, ooh, look at that, so that's like a fourth of my health already gone. It looks weird, it seems like a hell of a lot, um, harder, because the game's designed from the ground up to be more RPG-y, you know? And then they take away your RPG elements. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I They add Richter mode and Belmont mode and all sorts of other shit in subsequent versions of the game. Um, sub subsequent versions of the game. Uh, in later titles of the game, you know, with the Giga Castlevania style. But this was kind of their first attempt, hence why it's a little bit watered down. 
And this is my first time playing it, so I'm not going to try to judge it too much, but that's just, you know, I wanted to research a little bit what exactly this was before doing a stream on it. Oh wait, I can run. <laughs> Let's remember that we can run this one. So Sympathy Knight overall, I think is a very, very, oh, cool. Forgot that you're going to have the uh, really, really cool super modes. So I think that Castlevania Symphony of the Night is one of the top 10 Castlevania games. Uh, I was watching Vinny play Castlevania 4 and he says that um, that's probably his favorite. Like this one is probably his favorite. And that Super Castlevania 4 is a little bit too old to go for him. I prefer the newer Castlevanias too, but I believe that Castlevania 4 is in fact... Uh, better than this. Now that both aren't fantastic fucking games, and they are kind of a bit different, so it's kind of uh, comparing apples to oranges, you know? But, I just think that Symphony of the Night has a couple flaws. Most notably the menu system. Uh, you know, fucking around with equipment and items and all that shit can be a real bog down pain in the asshole. Oh! No! Oh no, get it, get the fuck out of there! Wow, well that's that's a death. At least I saved, huh? Oof. So Richter, I think, is like a very hard mode. People might disagree with me. Also, fun thing to note that um Game over screen. I remember AVGN complaining about Richter, or 2.3% the way through. Maybe we should just go for the uh, the boss and not fuck around there. I feel like that area is kind of insta-death if you're playing as Richter. See, so yeah, I think I think this is definitely cool and all. Oh shit! Yeah, God, I gotta recheck that shit out, huh? I want that precious percentage. Also, if you have never ever played Rondo of Blood, and I've only played Rondo of Blood for a little bit, I've never completed it. That game is fucking fantastic. It's a game that I kind of want to do a full playthrough when I'm fully ready, you know? Looks like my uh, internet's back up. I swear, like, Comcast just fucks you over. And I I've talked about this before, that... A lot of my problems for stability would be solved if I just, you know, used a wired connection instead of wireless. But there's no jacks anywhere near my computer. I would have to have. <laughs> Sorry, that's very distracting. Um, I would have to have. I just wanna... I mean, there's no reason to kill these guys, so we're just gonna take the safe route and drop down here. Yeah, I would have to have an Ethernet cable running from... my room, through the door, to the living room area. In order to figure this shit out, and it's, it's not really worth it. So I'll just, until then, I'll just bitch have a... Not stable stream some of the time. Sometimes it's just fine, but other days it's fucked up. Once again, I think a lot of it is Comcast, but God, I want to collect all these cards. Ah! Oh, that health hit though! Holy shit! It's like, oh, you're very powerful, but you're gonna take damage like a motherfucker. So here's where death would be. God, this game is good music.
But yeah, I think uh, Castlevania 4 overall is a better game. There's just more cohesion. It's a point of money in this. Fuck. There's just more cohesion in Castlevania 4. Whereas this one, there, um, there's a couple things that are a little bit dated that they did fix later. Uh, Metroidvania, Castlevanias. Damn it. Ah. Which I don't blame, um, this version of the game for having some fucked up elements. I'm just saying that, uh, they did in fact improve some of the elements later on. Alright, there's brick shit house like into the room. I gotta be on edge. Alright, he's not so bad. How about to turn around anyway? I just want to fully explore this room. Oh my god. Oh. Now I want the holy water. Come on. So this move right here, it's like down up. Down up jump. So it's a little bit tricky, and some of the inputs are not the best. Even people who are speedrunners, I was observing, didn't mention that, that sometimes the inputs can be finicky. So look, it works a little bit like a fighting game. Works is like a full heal, I think. Go up, half circle forward. There we are. Yeah, that is interesting. So this will just be a fun stream where I just kind of dick around and experiment with this mode. I don't think I would do a full playthrough because uh, I feel like a lot of the appeal of this game does in fact lie in the RPG mechanics. It's so vast. If you want to play an old school uh, Castlevania, play Castlevania 4 or Rondo of Blood or uh, Bloodlines. Bloodlines' biggest issue is having no... Let's see. Bloodlines' biggest issue is having limited lives, limited continues, before having to play through the whole game again, which does suck. I don't know why the fuck they did it. They did. Oh! Fucking dick. Alright, let's get this real quick. Nice. Well, that rest is zero. So yeah, that whole UI um, is based off of Rondo of Blood because the beginning of the game where you're playing as Richter before switching over to Alucard is in fact a throwback to... No! <laughs> they even fuck with this. It's risky. Oh! No, no, it's not fuck with it. So it is a throwback to Rondo of Blood, which I think is cool. Oh, it's a save point, nice. <laughs> the save points become a hell of a lot more vital in this mode. Let's just not play this for, I don't know, maybe a couple hours. I have no intention of playing the whole thing through. Although it's definitely a way to play it, you know? If that's what you want. Oh god. Alright, down up. There we are. <laughs> Super complicated there. Here we go. Yeah, I think um, Castlevania Symphony of Night is an extraordinarily good game, all the same. And one of the best Castlevania games, one of the best PlayStation 1 games. I wouldn't call it the best um, PlayStation game. Probably the best 2D PlayStation game, because there really wasn't a whole lot of 2D PlayStation 1. Um, actually, if we go up, I think it's, uh... Secret. 
once again, one thing that the PlayStation 1 did extraordinarily, extraordinarily well. Okay. Ah, I might actually want that. get so distracted when I speak and play. I do have I do have some some more respects to start streaming for um, people who are really really good at on the cuff commentary while they do other things. Although I still say you should not uh, show any respect to like ego raptor because that guy is a fucking retard. Um Holy shit, watching his, uh... Just watch it. This is how you don't play, um... Or Wind Waker. Or even, uh... Ocarina of Time. And he talks shit on Ocarina. Alright. I remember I can do that. If you remember in his Zelda sequelitis. Uh, down up. Why is that so hard for me? Okay, so you, you can't do it from a normal jump, at least I don't think you can. But you can chain them together. Oh god. I mean, not to compare to this to Metroid, because it's a Metroidvania, but it is vaguely similar to the space jump. In terms of, not how it's pulled off, but in terms of how oh, it's a little finicky. There we are. Or maybe you can only chain it together three times. Maybe not. I have no idea. Interesting. So yeah, it's kind of like with... Um, Resident Evil series where when you, with all the extra modes and different campaigns, like in order to play that game in full, you have to play through Claire A, Leon B, Leon A, Claire B, and then do the arranged mode. So you're essentially going through the uh, place, what, at least like five times? Okay. Which I'm not saying that, uh, you know, it's not fun to do, it's just... It's great when you have a limited library, like when you're growing up. Hmm. It's great when you have a limited library when you're growing up, and it's like, well, I want to play through the games multiple times because I only have about 10 games and this is clearly one of my top three, right? But later on... You know, if it's good enough to play through the whole way through, you're still gonna want to play through, like, a campaign one year and then play through the next campaign the next year. Because we live in a time of abundance for gaming. So I'm not complaining too much, holy shit. Alright, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, let me see. Alright, so going to the left. Can I open this shit? I can! Does this lead to the church? I believe so. Yep. This is a cool fucking place right here. I really like this area. We're still gonna go to the left though, or to the right, because that's where our first boss is. Imagine we haven't fought a boss yet. You know, this actually isn't so bad. I'm not gonna do a full playthrough of this, but uh, it, it's not bad. Symphony of the Night is still fucking good. Although, if you watched my playthrough of it regular, which I finished up what, about a week ago, um, I do think it does get a little grating towards the end. Um, I, I want the cross. This 
because this next boss, there's like, you know, one dude flying, one dude not flying. Oh, no! Alright. No, uh, okay. As long as I don't get hit. Oh, I can also do that one skip where I like hold, where I like a uh, slide jump. Yeah, I gotta remember I can do that. Richter's cool. I don't even think you could do half this shit in Rondo Blood. I think it was just added for the beginning of this game. powerful, but I think I'm fairly certain that, you know, you, you don't gain in strength, you just start off really powerful, but the, uh, the difficulty ramps up as it would normally in the game, but you're not leveling up, so it starts to catch back up with you. This is fucking cool, though. Yeah, even, even slightly bizarre Sympathy of the Night is still Sympathy of the Night, and that's, that ain't a bad thing to be. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Fuck. What a great game. All right. Guess again. Swing in the chain. Swing in the chain. He stands on top of a waterfall, swinging a chain around. Now go. Wee wee. I need to watch that movie again. I, I've been like quoting it recently. I don't even know why. That is cool. I am the evil Betty. Nice. What if you like <laughs> stand in front of the cannon? Imagine being the uh, police officer arriving on scene. <laughs> yeah, the man uh, had an 18th century cannon that he uh, stood in front of. Alright. Oh, shit. Alright. <laughs> Almost got crushed there. My god. You are, like, really powerful, especially with 99 hearts. These crosses only use one. Oh, okay, because there's the incline. All right, the incline fucked it up. Didn't program that. We're going to go back real quick just because there is a block we missed, apparently. Look up video of it, and I thought, oh, without the RPG elements, it's kind of boring. And it does, it is certainly missing something. But, uh, it does feel good to be insanely fucking outrageously powerful. Strike me down, and I will become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. I know why I said that with, like, the Emperor, that was fucking Obi Wan. Okay, so you can, you can, uh, do it slightly. Like, all jump I mean. Um, should I do it down a little bit? Oh, I think this is, like, a big ass circle. What is the point of the money? I mean, I guess it's in the original Castlevania. Was funny, but it was pointless. I guess that's the uh, throwback. It seems that different things have different, uh. Oh my god. Different amounts of damage that does. Some of these enemies, man, they really fuck you up if you get too close. Alright, is that, uh. No, that does not count. Is that 
count? Yes, it does. All right. Into the next area. I definitely want to play through the um, DS Castlevanias again. Um, eh, yeah, I'll use this. I have full hearts, why am I doing this? I don't know. Um, should I loop down and check this shit out? Oh god, evil fuck! That's a good. This is a save point, yeah. It's amazing how much you remember the castle when you go through it regular and then upside down. I should be uh, muting my desktop audio. Uh, I always forget to do something on my little checklist of uh, pre stream bullshit. It's uh, definitely one of the things I do. Does this game always have a uh, letterbox format? Because if I check this out, go into video settings. I mean, you saw me fuck with the video, right? Oh, there we are. So it's like that. Hmm. Weird. I think Crash Bandicoot was doing the same thing when I was playing that. Why won't it just stay like this, though? I don't know. Yes? Is that good? Oh god, why does it do this? There's always like some bullshit going on. Scaling. I do this. Oh, now it's just tiny. Oh. Damn. Crop overscan? Turn that shit off? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, <laughs> as long as the video is showing, I guess, but damn. Really fucking annoying. God, why am I collecting the hearts? I really don't need any of this shit. It's like you're just programmed, you know what I mean? You're like, must collect shit. Must collect Bing Bing Wahoo coins.
Now, the question is, do I go all the way through the castle again, or do I... I guess it's not that hard, but... Mm. Let me heal, and then I'll go back up this way. Let's heal and save. Not sure how much of a pain the axe will be. Because I do not want to die. It does feel good to be this mobile after playing as Alucard. He's, I guess, vertically is pretty mobile, but he's slow. I have started to play, um, I guess we should save here. Uh, I have started to play on the Raspberry Pi using Bluetooth on the controller, because I feel like using a USB and the little US mini USB connector on the PlayStation 4 controller. It's that connector, man. It, it unsyncs and resyncs, and then I get weird inputs, which usually cause a, uh, Causes a reset. Ah, it's like this doesn't seem so bad now. I. Oh, you need a motherfucker! Fucking me up. Oh, we can just do that, huh? More than one way of skin a donkey. Oh! Oh! Get my ass kicked a little bit, huh? Oh! Oh, you got some long reach there, motherfucker! Oh, that's only doing two. That's only doing two damage. What am I doing? Uh, good question. Come on. Oh! Fuck off! Die here, because that would be a pain in the ass. Oh! Tell you what, getting hit is a hell of a lot scarier in this mode. Save point. Better watch out for the table. The Luigi table. There we go. Nice. Apparently, Germ is playing some sort of exorcist game. I'll have to check out a re upload of that. Germ plays some weird shit, man. Like some. Not even like goofy streamer shit, but just. obscure shit. That I don't even know how the fuck he finds. Or how the fuck he makes it entertaining. Honestly. Oh yeah. Come on. It's <laughs> very cool. Oh, I gotta remember a um clock for that shit. I keep an eye out. Maybe I should start whipping the candles. All Rocks' quarters. Who the fuck was All Rocks? I feel like I uh, never figured that shit out. Creepy. 
be in here. Mason jars, cool. Already we've kind of figured out quite a bit of the castle. There's also not really any reason to fight in this mode. Take that as you will. Hmm. Maybe I'll just take the normal path, honestly. Let's take the normal path. I mean, we can go through here anytime we want. Oh, these Skelleranks yes. suck a fucking bottle of dicks. Oh, that's cool. It goes, like, wherever the enemies are. Yeah. Not getting cool. It's getting hit. All right, and we're going to need... You need to keep an eye out for a clock in order to get that one area. Oh! Oh, come on. Oh no! Oh, it's trickier than it looks. Nice, got him. Got him! And watch, there is gonna be jack shit here. Jack and shit. I mean, already. Man, we're making some progress, so. Gotta check out that area to the right. Which requires. I think there's a clock in this room, like this area. That clock. Nope, that's uh, whatever the hell that is. Still not sure what that is. Like a bouncing dagger. I would say like any of the like 16-bit Castlevanias. Rondo of Blood, Bloodlines, Castlevania 4. Probably some of my favorites. This is this is definitely up there. Probably in my top 10, maybe not. Maybe it might not make my top 5, though. There we go. Alright, let's go back. Come on, you fucker! Stop! Oh my god! It's like you can only heal at save points. Oh, that sucks. Um. Anyway, should I make a trek back to save? I might. I might end up doing that. That heals me. Damn. Yeah, we're gonna need a trek back. There we are. Oh! Holy shit. God, getting hit is like scary as shit, because it's like, oh man, there's no no healing items. But didn't you like get full heal if you level up? Or am I just imagining that? I might just be imagining that. 
I mean, the DS Castlevanias and, um, I guess Ari of Sorrow as well were, I thought, better than something for that. Oh, come on, you fucker! Holy shit! That's not to say Symphony of the Night is bad at all, it's fucking great. I think, uh, some of the, uh, edges were sanded down, if that makes sense. Oh, fuck! Also, the extra modes in those were super, super fleshed out. This, this is cool. This is definitely cool. Very cool. If you want more Symphony of the Night, this is fucking it, man. the area that leads to the underground caverns. We have the chapel to the far left. Then above in that uh, clock chamber, we have the path that leads to the Colosseum. So let's, uh, just six. Oh, shit, look at you, motherfucker! Let's explore it down slightly. Oh! Oh, fuck off! Oh my god, luckily there's a save point, like, right here, somewhere. Oh my good lord. It's one of the reasons why you want a full map, just to have... <laughs> some nice places to rest and relax. Okay. So we'll, we're, we are gonna check this out, uh... Later, but not now. I think we're making pretty good progress. <laughs> making good progress. Oh my god. Which money did something? It does not, though. Anyway, I have um, a bunch of prompts for AI Dungeon that I had written up. Yeah, that's the thing about AI Dungeon shit is either 20 minutes where the game just insists on killing you immediately, or it goes on and on and on and on. Oh god, come on, you fucker! And gets very out of whack, so I wrote up three just in case. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, 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 my god. Yo, fighting in angles is not that, uh, not that great. This is an item, or no items. Not in this mode. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked at how much of this uh, I have memorized, honestly. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. 
That's insane. I always love that eye in the background. You can kind of see it right now. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's use the axe. Fuck it. Bible doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage alone. Yo, I do really, really love this outer wall aesthetic. I think it's a really cool place. Alright, well, I'm shocked that we've only encountered one enemy so far. One boss, rather. Um, let's... There, there's a boss up ahead, though. I always love rain aesthetic in games. Come on. Oh, you fucker! Oh god. There we go. <laughs> All for one art. Cool. I think up just leads well up. I think that's where we, yeah, we're gonna get there anyway. So let's just keep going forward. There's a safe one up ahead. Yeah, this ain't so bad. I think I was over the uh, critical of it just from looks alone, but it plays fine. I think obviously the main campaign is better. If it wasn't, they would have had this be the main game. But, uh, this, this is still fun. Oh god, I meant to hit the select button. Oh, that's probably why I get so turned around when I play Silent Hill. And all kinds of fucked up. I mean, look at how much we've already explored. Alright, motherfucker. Prepare to get your asshole clapped. This is a really cool boss intro. Oh shit! Castlevanias as a series. Like, there are very few shitty Castlevanias, you know? I guess it's kind of like Kirby in that way. Come on. Stay still for a little bit, and your input stops. So it's like you're just in a, uh, like a frenzy, I don't know. Yo, where's the dark wizard shaft? Come on. 
Oh! Is that like a fucking glitch that I just pulled off? You can't even move. It's like a fucking Easter egg. Is that really why they added this? Just for that? I guess so. Because <laughs> he does have the animation of his hands up in the air. Like, loady, loady. To the map button. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we've already explored quite a bit. Let me get some hearts up again, because I use quite a bit of my stock. I'm sure the upside down castle is a fucking nightmare, as Richter. <laughs> How damage spongy those enemies get. Oh, come on! Ah! You, like, you can't do anything for the first half second, and that throws you off. Castlevania 3 one. Really fucking good. I could play that as, um, you know, not this year, but maybe like one year. There we are. Jesus. Yeah, some of these map squares, I noticed you almost couldn't, I mean, I couldn't fucking get them. You know what I mean? With just where they are and with the geometry of the levels. But it, it does add to your percentage. Nice. Um, actually, let's uh, let's get that other square real quick. So this is the uh, way to the shop, too. Welcome! Hee <laughs> hee, thank you! I'm interested in this. Oh, can I not talk to him? Are you mad? Are you... <laughs> Fucker. Damn, that's... I mean, there, there goes like a full point. 10 out of 10 campaign to 9 out of 10 because I enjoyed that guy's voice so much. God, PlayStation era voice acting kicked ass. It really did. Well, in terms of Metal Gear Solid, it actually kicked ass. But, you, know, you have like Mega Man X4, Resident Evil, this. This is pretty fun. Oh, damn, motherfucker. 
Oh, and once again, I think I mentioned in my uh, previous stream when I was playing um, Killer7, maybe it was my stream where I was playing uh, Silent Hill, but Game Hoarder is doing a series on... Was it Parasite Eve 2? Oh my god, I'm getting like... I'm gonna fucking die! Holy shit! Oh my god, these little fucking assholes. Some enemy types just aren't good for uh, Richter, I feel. I guess if you got really good with all of the, like, the dash attack and all that shit, you'd probably be pretty good. There we go. Uh, maybe I can make a beeline for the save point again. Might be worth it. I'm not sure if I can handle it though. If I can't handle that, I'm certainly I'm sure shit not gonna be able to get back. Woo! No, just run, run! Ah, come on, double tap. There we are. Oh! Jeez, those flea armors are fucking tough. Yeah, everything dies real quick, but you take damage like a motherfucker in this mode. Um, I'll play, I'll play for another hour. Yeah, how far along are we? I mean, we're a third through. Yeah, it's not, not bad, not bad at all. Shit. I want to finish checking out the library though, but man, this library is fucking hardcore. There we are. Alright, so I just gotta be careful here. It's not so bad, I just had to be careful. God, you just take so much damage. I wonder if that rest counter ever changes. I feel like it probably won't. Anyway, I still have not finished The Shining. I, I, I should finish that today. Watch uh, The Shining and... Um, other movies are gonna watch the thing. Do winter horror movies, and then next weekend, Halloween weekend, I'm just gonna watch, uh. What? Friday the 13th, part 4. It's the best one, I thought. And. What other one was I gonna watch? Oh, Hellraiser. That movie's fucking awesome. Oh! Yeah, if you've never seen Hellraiser, do yourself that favor. Oh, you fucker! Get away from me! Oh my god, and I think there's like a boss coming up too. Oh! Oh, get away! Get away! Oh! Ah, oh, man! Shit, stressful. Give me that health, thank god. It's like one of those things where you fuck up, and then your fuck up makes you fuck up, and then you start panicking and you fuck up again. Um, we're gonna ignore that. You don't need that shit. You don't need that shit in our life. Um, I guess we can't. I have nothing to do with this wall. Let me know that I do not, in fact, have the miss power up. Alright, go 
going back to save, and then I think we'll be done with the library, huh? Nice. I was thinking of saving um, Resident Evil 2 arranged mode for yeah, just closer to Halloween. I do have quite a few games I want to do during or before Halloween, but tonight I was going to do some AI dungeon later on. I'll finish doing this workout. Oh god. Oh, fuck out. God, the flea mens are like the worst in every single Castlevania, I feel. But yeah, I was gonna do this, work out, and probably cypher a bit, and then stream uh, AI Dungeon. Yeah, it's an off day, so I have time. Generally, uh, Sunday into Monday, wee hours, and then Monday into Tuesday, wee hours. That's usually when I have time. Um, we are going to the right and down. Canoe! That's usually, um... I guess usually I have time to stream twice in one day, but I rarely ever. But, considering it is the week of Halloween, and I really want to do a full stream to figure out how to do this. God, this game is fucking good. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I... It's good. It's a good fucking game. I think, um... Castlevania 4 is just better. Hondo Blood might even be better than that. Bloodline's great, too. But if I was gonna play a uh, Metroidvania Castlevania, I think those DS ones are next level. They're very, very, very similar to this one. It's just, there's just a couple of things that they, you know, obviously improved on since they came afterwards, so they figured out, you know, hey, we could solidify that a little bit. The fact that they even went so differently with the game itself is impressive. Granted, they did fairly, fairly a bit of uh, information. innovation. Fairly a bit of in innovation with um, Castlevania 4. Bloodlines and Rondo Blood, all those games are different a little bit. And even uh, Castlevania 2 and 3 are different from 1. Castlevania is a series where they've just always been very cool with doing shit kind of differently. Am I able to just go and fight Dracula? I wonder. Is there anything really stopping me? Say fucking try for it, huh? I'll do at least like another hour to this. God, that would take me an hour to do that, mind you. Got our teleport. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll try for Dracula. See what happens. I'm assuming you don't get the upside down castle. Is there even an upside down castle in this mode? I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. I don't know that much about this mode. I'll have to look up like 100% Richter speedrun or some shit. Kind of like go through the uh, timeline. See what's up? This is fun. This is a cool little bonus mode. And so yeah, because there's not a whole lot of backtracking or things you need items to get through. You know the more RPG elements and no reason to grind or farm or do any of that shit. I 
It does actually add quite a bit. I always like this shit. Little things like that. In 2D games. And also at the bottom of this place where it has the... Uh, What is it at the bottom? Elevator activated. Yeah, it's like the little lookout area at the bottom of this tower. Where you, you know, they make games like this have kind of a, uh, I don't know, you think of what would it be like to live in the world of this castle? And they have fun with that kind of shit. I like that. Oh, nice. Good thing I came up here. So how do I, how would I do that? I can report myself. That's good. <laughs> All right. So um, broadcast options. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Didn't even know that was an option. All right, well, I'll try to make use of that then. One of my uh, streams is going to be the first three Castlevanias, probably like an hour into each game. Like, just like a three hour stream. And I was wondering how did like, I change the game midstream. And yeah, it's like right on here. It's cool. They really did think of everything. Guys. Nice. Oh my god. This game's music is awesome. Oh no, I want an uppercut you to death. There we are. <laughs> I managed it. Speaking of all these like Street Fighter shits, one game I've been meaning to uh, fuck with is Street Fighter 2. Probably first I was going to play the one on the Genesis I feel like that's a lesser one slightly than Street Fighter 2 Turbo on my uh, SNES Classic. But yeah, I, I've never really played too much of it. I've played very little, you know, I've, I've fucked around with... Um, her name, Pai Mei, what the fuck was the bitch's name? Mei Ling. Chun Li, there we go. <laughs> Glad the water doesn't hurt me anymore. That's kind of bullshit when you're playing as, uh. What's nuts? I'm getting pretty good at them. At like this this little bit here. room and I do not want to get myself killed and have to do all that shit again. I'm not so good with the uppercut yet that I feel confident not losing my remaining 
like 40% of health. But yeah, if you, um, I, I started saying this. If you've never seen Hellraiser, do yourself a fucking favor. That movie is the tits. It really is. It's low budget, but really well done in terms of effects, and it's just unique and a blast to watch. Alright, so there is a one area at the very top there, and then a tower to the left. Probably like 40% done exploring the whole castle. It's pretty crazy considering we were only putting an hour into this. I wasn't expecting to do really a whole lot at all. Turn around, stop! Stop it! Stop! Uh. There we go. Um, alright. So you can essentially fly with uppercuts. Although, not doing a circle is not my forte. Holy shit. Harder than it fucking seems. I have a lot of respect for people who speedrun this shit. Cause I've seen it, they'll do like that, um, whip dash. Like a motherfucker. Woo! Okay. We're just gonna get up against the, um, wall with this shit. Oh, come on! Uh... I'm sure it just connects to this one, so we're just gonna go through. <laughs> we're just gonna take the stairs. And try not to get hit by these Medusas. Yep. Oh, easier said than done, especially if we don't have the high jump or the double jump. Oh. Hello. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the dagger. Yeah, I want... Give me the shit I want, motherfucker! Is that all that's here? Yeah, that's all that's here. Woo! Alright, explore that fucking room. I don't even know I'm going for that shit. Oh! Suck it, dick! Damn, Richter, what the fuck? Holy shit! Richter, my man, you gotta calm down with that shit. Um... Yo, we're just gonna ignore these side doors. We're gonna, uh, fuck with the side doors later. Oh, don't kill me! Oh god. There's gotta be a save point nearby, right? Oh, I, I picked up the holy water. I know the holy water's really good, but that knife attack was kind of bonerific. God. Oh, I forgot about this shit. Get the fuck out of the way! Woo! Yeah, just ignore him. Oh god. This is uh tense. When you're low on health. It's a 
more money. Uh, that's good. I can, I can buy something. Go the fuck away! Alright. And we're gonna go up. Assuming that the upside down castle is fucked, assuming that there even is an upside down castle. There might not be, I don't know. God, this is cool. Yeah, this game does a lot right. I, I you know, I do absolutely fucking love this game. And it's a shame that I did not grow up with this one, but that said. Yeah, yeah, I, I stand by my point. This game is one of the best Castlevania. It's one of the best PlayStation One games. I would not put it number one at either list. So now we have a save point, a teleport. Uh, we're set. What's going on? What's going on? Got the homies in the Discord going ape shit. All right, another heart. Add that to the bank. Start from the bottom, work your way up. Oh shit! Ah, this is the uh, leads to the um cathedral, right? I think so. We'll check it out anyway. Oh, I'd rather have holy water than love, whatever the fuck that is. Still not sure what that is. Oh. Any anything related to Fleeman sucks balls. Yep. Nice. Nice. Look at all that castle we found. We'll continue back. Yeah, after October, when I'm done all this shit, I'm going. I am going to finish uh, Paper Mario. I feel like there's only like three more streams of that game. Uh, maybe four. So that's a game that's definitely gonna be done in November. Um, Final Fantasy VIII. We're about halfway through that game. Good game. Oh, go figure. I was on like a pull thread and there was a, uh, <laughs> go figure. And there's a whole thread related to Final Fantasy VIII inexplicably. And yeah, it's amazing how far that game's come around. Where it was initially just torn, right? I want to say like 40, 60, 60 in favor of not liking the game. Then it went to like, you know, the cool thing to trash on. And then it went from that to, uh, more recently, I think a lot more, a hell of a lot more people appreciate that game. There's still a lot of people who, from the, you know, 
initial release of the game and when it was, you know, a cool thing to trash on. Still focused just on drawing magic, but... Um... Yeah, it's not a bad game. Once again, the correct way to play Final Fantasy VIII is to not draw. <laughs> like, seriously. That's all. That's all you have to do. It's not draw 100 of every spell. And you'll have an infinitely more enjoyable time playing that game. Hmm. Not really a point to these anymore. Don't get me wrong, I think these are cool all the same. Wow, really? It's like just tall enough where you have to do an uppercut to get up there. I'm getting the hang of Richter though. Yeah, he just, he just gotta practice. It's not like it's impossible or anything. Giant rooms, man. I will say that uh, this game doesn't not do humongous rooms well. Oh, fuck, are you? Hey, fuck you, Luigi. You got some spaghetti on your shirt. Hey, suck a fat dick, Mario. You got some pastrami on your dick! Oh, fuck! Alright, I, I got to save. Ah! Alright, let's hope that I can fucking get back there. Oh, man! It's like you are not... You can move vertically. You are not... Very vertically good. I, I don't even think Alucard is, honestly. Maybe I should just go for Dracula. I should just go for Dracula. I keep saying Dracula, but I don't even think it's Dracula. It was Richter in the first one, so I guess I'm fighting Alucard. Or maybe it still is Richter, inexplicably. Fuck. Damn. That room is fucking massive. Yeah, give me the uh, the cross. Cross is cool. <laughs> that is such a cool one. All right. This isn't bad. This is not a bad mode at all. Huh? Oh, is it just... Does it go straight to the Upside Down Castle? It does. Holy shit. Damn. Uh, all right. There's nothing stopping you. Fuck you. 
fucking mind blow. Holy shit. Can I just make a beeline and fight Shaft? Or do I have to... Kind of like when I'm fighting, um... Kind of like in the main game. Maybe I have to, uh... Kill all the bosses, which means I'm not even ready for that yet. I mean, there's really no point in doing this. It really... Your goal really is his bosses and map exploration. That is completely it. But here I am, and I'm still fucking trying to break it. You really do get conditioned when you play these fucking games. It's like, fuck, I gotta get the coin, though. Bing, bing, wahoo. It would be the best way to go about doing that. Like, if you were properly motivated enough, you could probably do this entire fucking game, the Richter mode, and maybe even one long play session, but probably for health's sake, probably break it up into three or four. There we go. Look at me learning. critical fan, man, but I don't know. Either I got older and <laughs> he didn't, or I don't know. I do feel like he got uh, shittier, though. Commentary on meme videos and retarded political views. That's what uh, critical became. Um, let me, uh, activate the teleport, just in case. Is that, like, a one-way? I guess so, that's a one-way now. Fuck. Upside down castle, you are ball strong. Alright. I guess maybe this mode isn't that challenging. It's more challenging just uh exploring the map, honestly. Just because you can die from these assholes. Like the uh, random enemies. Yeah, I don't know, there's there's just a lot of YouTubers that I used to watch and I'm like, yeah. I guess there's motherfuckers like, um, uh, Vinny, Germa, uh, Game Order, Empty Hero. Yeah, this, this are the guys I like to watch. Not really a big fan of a lot of others. I used to follow a lot of these guys, you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, Critical, Mike Matei, Ego Raptor, Game Grumps, you know, all these motherfuckers, and I'm just, I don't know, like, one by one, I just started being like, eww, I don't really feel these fuckers anymore. Well, I was watching Rexu Prey again recently, and while not as amazing as I remember, they're still, they're still pretty likable. And they're still, um, occasionally doing shit. Not often, but... 
I'm not sure how that long that's gonna last, but Oh wow, I can like slap the uh, bomb away from him. Really cool. And this. Ah! Oh my god. I remember this room being a real pain in the ass, says Alucard. I remember this whole castle being a real pain in the ass is Alucard. Oh god. <laughs> I was facing the wrong way. Oh! Alright, I guess I just walk over it. You just walk over it? You just walk over it. God, should I even bother checking out this whole area? I mean, I guess I can. Oh, you fucker! Oh my god, look at that. Oh, dead. That's a, that's a GG. <laughs> oh, man. It does go out this evening for pleasure. I'll, um, I'll do one more try to see if I can get to the center and fight <laughs> the Dark Wizard Shaft. And if not, I'll just say fuck it. It's a good game, man. This is a fucking great game. Yeah, 50%. Out of 200, but still. Yeah, I think, uh, like, four good hour and a half sessions is all you need for this one. That's all you would really want. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll look at what the ending of this game is like by the gank in there myself. Oh shit, look at you. Suck a dick. Hard if I need it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. In fact, if I'm like ignoring um, map exploration, I might as well just run straight for the uh, straight for the goal. And I'm assuming it's not like you have to fight every boss, but it might be. Oh, come on, please! Oh God! Yeah, for little jumps like that. I mean, the upside down castle is a pain in the ass no matter who you're playing as. That. I bat that shit away, motherfucker. Fuck you! But even more so is Richter, because you have to do a down up jump, down up jump, down up jump. Again and again and again. Oh, come on! Alright. And let's jump up here. Oh, look at you, motherfucker! Um, yeah, I'll hold on to the, uh, water. Man, Richter's wicked fucking powerful. Unless you get caught in that area. Oh, fuck off! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh, come on. Oh, holy shit! Just, just run or walk, I don't care. Oh no, no! Holy shit! Ah, oh, I remember hating this fucking room playing as Alucard. Oh man! Alright. Well, 
Richter mode is a hell of a lot more enjoyable than I thought it was. You are just so fucking stupid, insanely overpowered. That really is just more of a victory lap after finishing the game as Alucard. In that regard, good job. You guys did good. Good job, Konami. But I, I do appreciate how in the DS Castlevanias, how the like additional modes are like fully fleshed out. Which does mean a lot less people played it because it is like a big time commitment, but it's, I think they did improve on it. But this is fucking fine as well. Solid. Really solid. Anyway, that'll be the stream. I am going to work out, take care of my dog, uh, and then probably finish watching The Shining. And then I'll have a late night stream where I'll just be streaming AI Dungeon later tonight. But... Thank you all for dropping in, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.